Hello, my name is Tarik Pacic. Hello, my name is Adrian Stein, and today we are going to present you the supplementary material for our education paper with the title From Playground Swings to the Sway Control of Cranes. This is going to give you an overview for the assembly of the pendulum. Section 1 Pendulum System The solenoids are placed in the upper part of this 3D printer part and fastened by using 1 and 1 eighth inch by 7 nuts. The 8mm metal rod needs to be cut to a 200mm length and pressed symmetrically through the guidance of the 3D printed part. The metal rod gets fastened by 2 M8 screws, 4 washers and 2 nuts. These 4 3D printed parts can be attached. 4 M5 screws of 110mm length and 4 washers need to be put in place in this part for the next steps assembly. Then this 3D printed part can be attached to the upper section by 4 M5 screws of 110mm length, 8 washers and 4 nuts. One 5mm linear ball bearing is pressed in this part. The hollow 3D printed cylinder is pressed in here against the linear bearing. Simultaneously another linear ball bearing is pressed in here. Then the whole setup gets pressed against the upper part where the hollow cylinder and the 4 preassembled M5 screws function as a guidance. Furthermore, 4 M5 washers and 4 nuts are used to fasten everything. Section 2. Sensor and communication. A spacer is slid over the 5mm metal rod until the end of the thread. Simultaneously, another spacer is slid over the metal rod from the other side. The copper tube is slid over the spacer until the ends of the copper tube and the spacer match. Super glue is used to create a stiff connection between the metal rod, the spacer and the copper tube. This 3D printed part is attached to the metal rod by using two M5 washers and two nuts which are fastened from each end respectively. The housing part is connected to the upper section by using two M8 screws of 30mm length, four washers and two nuts. This houses an Arduino Nano, a MPU6050 gyroscope and a transmitter. The Arduino Nano is powered by a power bank and gets connected by a mini USB cable. The white wire is serial data to analog pin 4, the grey wire is serial clock to analog pin 5, the black wire is ground to the ground pin and the blue wire is VCC to the 3 v 3 pin. The black wire is ground to the ground pin, the orange wire is chip enabled to digital pin 9, the yellow wire is serial clock to digital pin 13, the green wire is master in slave out to digital pin 12. The red wire is VCC to 3v3 pin and note here that the red wire needs to get soldered to the previous blue wire and then get plugged in in the 3v3 pin of the Arduino Nano. The blue wire is chip select not to digital pin 10 and then last but not least the dark blue wire is master out slave in gets connected to the digital pin 11. The sensor part and the 3D printed chassis come together and are fixed with sticky tape. A spongy material is used between the sensors and the chassis and then the gyroscope and the transmitter are attached to the body with sticky tape. Section 3 Pendulum System We make a cut through the midsection of the pendulum apparatus. One number 9 o-ring needs to be put in place on each solenoid pin. This is not shown in the animation, but necessary to damp out the impacts of the solenoids. The U-shaped profile gets plugged in in the solenoid's moving pins. Two 3D printed spacers need to be placed in between the U-shaped profile and the solenoid moving pins. Two M2.5 screws, four washers and two nuts are used to fasten the U-shaped profile to the solenoid moving pins. Finally, the 5mm metal rod with the sensor part gets slid through all these parts and then fastened to the U-shaped profile by using two M5 washers and two M5 nuts. The spongy material is placed between here and the U-shaped profile to dampen again the impacts of the solenoid's movement. Section 4 Frame Both of these wood legs are placed on a wood base so that the assembled pendulum is placed centered. The 3D printed bearing brackets are placed on the wood legs. For the leg, you need 3 M8 screws of 80mm length, 6 washers and 3 nuts in order to attach 
the bearing bracket to the wooden leg. Two 8 mm ball bearings are pressed in the bearing brackets and the whole assembly is pressed together. From the top, a wood needs to be placed on the wood legs where four number nine screws of three inches length are used to fasten the system, where the pre drilled holes function as a guidance. Four wood stabilizers are put against the system so its inner parts align. Four number nine screws are used to fasten the stabilizers to the wood frame, where the pre drilled holes function as a guidance. Now you use four corner braces and place them on the inner side of the pendulum. In order to fasten them to the stabilizers and the wood bottom, you use eight number nine screws of one inch length. Twelve number nine screws of three inch length are used to fasten everything, where the pre drilled holes function as a guidance. Section 5 Receive and Cables. Connect the power cord to a socket and connect the power module. Place the relay on the wooden base. Now you want to get a computer and insert the mini USB cable in the computer. Now I show you how to connect the Arduino Nano to the receiver module. The green wire is serial clock to digital pin 13. The red wire is VCC to the 3v3 pin. The blue wire is master in, slave out to digital pin 12. The grey wire is master out, slave in, to digital pin 11. The orange wire is chip select not, to digital pin 10. The yellow wire is chip enable, to digital pin 9. The black wire is ground, to the ground pin. And now we're going to show you how to connect the relay model to the Arduino Nano. The orange wire is signal in, to digital pin 5. The black wire is a ground pin, to DC minus and the red wire is 5 volt pin to DC plus. And now you're going to use two 5 ampere fuses which are attached to the wooden legs by sticky tape. All the wires we're talking about now will be 22 gauge wires. Now take the black crocodile clip wire and plug it in the power supply. Attach the other end to two black wires and finally solder these two black wires to the black wires which come from the solenoid. Take the red clip crocodile wire and plug it in the power supply. The other end you need to attach it to the red wire and then the red wire to the comma output of the relay module. Then take two red wires and plug them in the NO output of the relay module which stands for normally open. Solder the two red cables to the fuses as you can see here. Take two red wires and solder them as well to the fuses. Then take the other ends and solder them to the red wires of the solenoids. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that it will help you understanding the pendulum's assembly easier. A special shout out goes obviously to Dr. Singh who enabled us to build such a setup and to my collaborator Tarek Pacic who was an exchange student during this project time in the semester of fall 2021. Thank you.